I'm going to build the largest wall in Fortnite history and try to win a game on it. I wanted to see how it would influence the game and how my opponents would react to it. And I'm glad I did because it ended in one of the most epic battles I've ever been in. The first step was to assemble my squad. I got my girlfriend Thrifty and a guy named Blaze Taco who uses a Thanos gauntlet as his keyboard. I guess this will do. The second step was the location. Where could we build this massive wall that would have the biggest influence on the game possible? It was obvious. The Citadel. One of the largest POIs in the entire game, and if we get lucky, the zone might just pull here. This is our spot. Although there was actually a few kids chilling there already, so we ch on them real quick. But then the building began. So our goal with this wall is literally just to make it as massive as possible. However, there was one problem though. There was a team right across the water. And for some inexplicable reason, it is this team's life goal to shoot down our walls. So we mainly just ignore them. We send a few bullets their way to tell them to f*** oh. off. But we just switch to hard mats and we continue building. And the construction is actually going surprisingly fast. At least with my strategy. Other strategies were, uh... <laughs> that balloon strat is not working. What do you mean? I have one balloon right now. Now I have two. See? Now I have multiple balloons. Look, dude, this wall is right. massive already, bro. Our massive project is really coming together now. It's starting to look intimidating. It's looking sexy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And better yet, we get zoned. The one POI we picked happened to get zoned. I promise we did not pay Epic to make this happen. But then something else happens. These guys start building their own base right in front of ours. Are they making a giant base too? Look at them. Oh. <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way. Look at them. <laughs> And yeah, it's just a little two by two cube, but it's the principle. But it's whatever. It's not affecting us. The storm isn't going to stay away forever. Let's get building. Got it. Okay, is it all good? I think it's all good, right? Is it maxed out? Well, I mean, besides like up top, yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's get up top. It's complete. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We make it into the top 25. Winning this game on the wall is so close to our grasp. This is when things took a turn for the worse. A fresh new team pulls up directly beside our wall and they want violence. They start relentlessly spraying at our wall and they have a large natural castle there to hide behind. So now we have another team to fight off and not only that, they're at a completely different angle than the other team. There's only three of us. We can only build and cover so much of this massive wall. This wall is really big and intimidating, but it also makes us a massive target. So I take matters into my own hands and try to hold them off because if we let them flank and get behind our wall it's all over oh look at this kid he's shooting at me i kind of tagged him Yay. he's trying to break us out bro there's just no way this guy actually isn't trying to shoot us he's trying to shoot out the wall and break us down our huge wall might actually be giving people some sort of psychological damage of some sorts but because this moment was so funny i didn't realize something terrible just happened did you catch what was said rewind that Yay. he's trying to break us out you see one of the arrows that taco shoots goes directly behind the enemy and shock waves him towards our wall. We now have one person directly below our wall where we can't really get an angle on him. And then it happens again. So there's now two people directly below our wall and one of them manages to flank and get behind us. Yeah, the one thing we couldn't let happen. And now we're completely sandwiched between these two teams. Then there's a random sliver of hope. The team across the water starts pickaxe swinging. For some inexplicable reason, even after all we went through, these guys want to be allies. They want to team. Now, I'm not going to deliberately team with them, but if they don't want to shoot me, I'm okay with that. But why? Why do these guys want to team after we were fighting for so long? I mean, it's obvious, but does the wall really have that much clout? I set out to see how building this massive wall would influence the player in the game and at the end of the day behind my opponents in game they're just people playing a silly battle royale game they literally respected the absurdity of what we were doing so much that they let us live at our weakest moment and because of this the faintest light appears for us to continue the wall and get this victory royale we're fine right now 
Okay, these guys are not pickaxe swinging. You know it's the Shia oh. clan, bro. God. Look at these kids over here, bro. Did you tag him a little bit? Nice. Um, no, but I tagged with my SMG. I love balloon. There's someone on us? No. They're right below us. Oh! Wait, where is they're, he? They're, they're fighting us for it! Fight that kid? This guy is an absolute pest. He distracted both of us for way too long, and you can see while this is happening, another member of their team somehow snuck below our base. And because it's so absurdly tall, we didn't hear this. We don't know what's going on. We completely don't realize that he's down there breaking down a huge portion of the wall. And then his teammate comes to help as well. There's two of them now chopping down our massive creation. There's only a tiny chunk left holding up this massive behemoth. Our massive base is about to come crashing down. They run over to finish the job and uh, oh shit, that's right. We spot their little termite asses and drop right in their face. The way they chop us, right? I think they are trying to. They are, they are, they are. Drop, 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 drop. Oh Frank. my god, bro. One went all the way down. Yeah, I just got... One's hammering up, one's hammering up. Right above you guys. Fry him, fry him, fry him, Grayskin! He's on my wall. Grayskin, right on your taco. Oh, no, I just made me. Knock one, knock one, knock one. Thanks for crazy. Get those mats, baby. Nice. I got him, I got him, I got him. Hey, that's it. Let's get back up. in our box. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this guy took our height. He took our height. The last player on the squad takes height as a desperation play, but then something happens none of us saw coming. Oh, wait, we gotta rotate. Oh yeah, we do. Fuck, I'm going the wrong way. Everyone abandons the wall and rotates into zone, even the guy who took high ground. But not me, goddamn. I'm gonna do whatever I can to win this game while still on the wall. I tarped to zone one tile thick, that's all the mats I had. But the wall was still alive. But there's just no way it'll last. It's one tile thick and I'm completely the center of attention. Everyone in the lobby is looking at me. And that other base is still up. And you know they're starting to target me. This is their chance to take me down and be the dominating high ground in the entire lobby. This is the moment they've been waiting for. I kept the wall going. Going, boys. Hey, right on, right, right above us. Right here as well. 61 right, knock, knock, knock. So go. Kids over there looking at you. Nice, I nice. Them. Hey, look at my health, look at my health. Look, here, 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 come here. Yeah, 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 come here. Right here, right here, one shot, one shot. Right next to you guys. One He's shot, little one. Of course, I'm not going down without a fight, but I realized something. I'm out of mats, and they're still shooting at me, and the storm is coming in. I need my teammates to get up with me, contribute their mats, or this is the end of the wall. Guys, I kept the wall going. You guys can get back to me. No troll no if you way, have mats. No can you guys get mats? Um, I have 700 metal. That's all I have. Yeah, I have mats. I have mats. Okay, yeah, get up Where to are me. you? Where are you? I'm, I'm up at the wall. I'm up at the wall. Bro. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can get up to you. No, I'm getting focused yeah, a little you're bit. Beamed. Yeah, man, I don't know about that, bro. They can't get up to me. Are you kidding me? Finally, the storm pushes me off the wall as it fades off into the eternal Fortnite storm. Lost, but not forgotten for what it did for our squad. So the other team won right? Their base was superior. Here we were with some extravagant, expensive wall, but now we're here on the wet, soggy, disgusting ground while they sit up there in their perfectly untouched base. Is there a moral to the story here? Is it that you don't need big, shiny things to be successful? That as big as the appearance is, it's shallow on the inside? And that maybe sometimes laying low, staying humble, and focusing on what's actually important might be the better path. Maybe it's true. Wait, is that a gold RPG? What the f- Oh, no, no, no. If they took down our base, we're taking them down with us. Click it. Come on. It's really epic.